I don't know what I do best. I just know that I'm surrounded by the best. And when I'm surrounded by the best, I do my best. My name is Patrick Burns. Um, I'm a first grade teacher here at Red Hawk Elementary um, in the coolest school district in the world, St. Brain Valley Schools. First graders are like the epitome of what it means to be human. They're still kind. They still know what it's like to work together. They're selfless. They just come in eager and hungry to learn. I look up to them. I mean, I look down to them like physically, but they're little adults in a way, like just the way that you, you see them act and interact. It's like, man, I really hope that you keep that kindness. I hope that you keep that funny attitude. Um, the best is just like, just how much fun they want to have. And it makes me want to have fun in it. And it checks myself sometimes. I became a teacher by a series of events. I was an outdoor guide, outdoor educator. I had a serious accident. I had to learn how to walk again do Olympic style rehab. And when I was bedridden, I was like, what am I gonna do with my life? And I realized that I love facilitating learning with children and kids. And I also really admired the teachers that came to the Outdoor Education Center um, and what they did for their kids to bring the, the textbooks alive. What game are we gonna play? They like beehives. When I heard that we were gonna go 100% virtual, my heart was ripped out. Green light! and just going from in-person, laughing, playing, learning together to how's it going on a screen. It tore me up, but I knew that I had to adapt. So I really tried to give it my best effort to learn how to teach online and how to adapt. I'm just super stoked to be back with kids now. We as students, as educators, we have not been in the sphere that we love for six, seven months. So how do we make the most of it? Because we can just sit here and be like, yeah, it's, it's really not cool that we have to wear a mask, but we're going to make the most of it. So that's all we do. High expectations. What does it look like to wear a mask, mask checks? Your number one goal, send those kids home happy every day so that they cannot wait to come back the next day with you. Doubles, doubles, I can add doubles. It's no trouble for me to add doubles. Air fives, all around air fives, there we go. They're telling their parents, whoever they live with, hey, I love learning so much. I cannot wait to get back. Your number one goal, send them home happy. I just hope that these kids look back on this year and they're like, yeah, that was different, but we got through it and we became better people, better students, better learners as a result. I just hope they look back and they say, you know what? I had fun learning. I wanted them to know that I cared. I came in every day, always um, delivering my best instruction. Um, that I stayed up at night thinking about them, like how am I gonna reach that kid? I hope they just know that I love them as a teacher and I just cared about their academic learning. Mr. Burns made an impact on me in some way, in a positive way, so. Basically just a teacher that poured into me. I don't know what I do best, I just know that I'm surrounded by the best and when I'm surrounded by the best, I do my best. Um, I would say my specialty is um, literacy. I got my master's in literacy curriculum and instruction. I used to be a fifth grade teacher my first two years of indoor education. And then um, I was in my second year of fifth grade teaching and I was loving it. And uh, our principal was like, hey Patrick, uh, I'm a first grade, we're gonna have an opening in first grade. And at first I was like, deer in the headlights, like fifth grade, first grade. I slept on it, I thought about what literacy means, thought about those fifth graders that had maybe some deficits um, that could have been filled earlier on in their education. And um, research shows that students need to read by third grade or else that's the reader that they're gonna be for the most part. So just knowing that I can make an impact on students' ability to read and their confidence, because reading and confidence are interlinked. And since students can read, they can find out more information, become more informed citizens and humans, and make choices that affect the world. So I just thought, this is where it all starts right here in first grade. And this is the only gig I could ever do in the world, uh, just, just teaching kids, so.